to watch hi res in this video i'm going to review one more adios die but it's not just any one more adios die this watch came to me a long time ago probably two months i have been waiting for a review time i haven't find uh, enough time for myself this is tiffany blue watch that i fall in love when i see it i am already watching my other adios die which is a rolex explorer style uh, 36 millimeter compact size and a uh, quartz movement watch even though i have around 20 watches i found myself 70 uh, percent using this watch daily basis because it fits every kind of scenario sportive scenario uh, swimming scenario uh, or daily basis any kind of dressy uh, environment so this is my daily and you see the scratches so i decided to buy a tiffany blue you heard me right, Tiffany Blue watch, because I love blue color and it suits my eyes and my dresses as well. We got a warranty card, a user manual, and also pin remover, which will be very useful. And a box, probably you know by now, like a tough case, protective case, so it will be on the side. And by the way, thanks to them, they made me a discount to buy this watch because I already have more than 20 watches and it's becoming difficult to buy every watch that I like. So if you support the channel, uh, at least the brand's giving me a good amount of discount so I can buy them. Again, I am buying these watches. These are my hard-earned cash purchases, but they made me discount so it will be coming easier. Also, I told them it's it will be great to see the watch with a uh, extra strap so they, they send me this strap and in the end of the video probably you'll see with the leather strap this combination let's take this uh, wrap protection layer out and then see this beauty in detail after getting rid of the protection layers eddie's dive tiffany blue this watch really started to shine as you can see with quite a bit of 4k detail in the channel it is a uh, tiffany blue but you can buy this watch a black dialed darker blue dialed versions and with different straps and also the tiffany blue that you see here the black model will look like this let me just put them side by side this one on, is on the left the quartz version that i have uh, been using uh, for months and i'm quite happy with it uh, so far even though i have many watches i found find myself using this over many watches that i got this is quartz this is automatic if you want to go to the budget you can buy this this is 36 you might be thinking it's too small but after using it i realized it's one of the greatest size that you can use this is between the 40 and the 36 38 millimeter probably this will be ideal for a lot of people not too small not too big just the perfect size and it's also using the seiko nh35 automatic movement which makes it more authentic if you ask me because if you're using a quartz watch you feel like hey i'm using something else like similar with everyone but if you're using started to use automatic uh, you feel as you can see the movement of it even though this quartz making the similar automatic uh, feel of movement if you watch it not fluent as this one so you're upgrading yourself into the territory of hobbyists or enthusiasts if you buy something like this <clears throat> and uh, uh, sorry the the price is about 140 dollar when i purchased it and thanks to them again adios dive made me a big discount to purchase this watch and thank you for watching the channel uh, that is also helping me to uh, tell them tell the brands if they can make me a discount i can buy easy because i want to do i want to buy the watches that i use a lot as much as possible i don't buy the stuff that i just put it into a box after a review that's one of the watches probably will be on my wrist for a long time so i will get rid of the watches some of the watches that i purchased so welcome to watch hires channel in this short video i just want to make a quick uh, cutout just be, uh, between two videos i just want to make a jump cut and show myself you probably haven't seen me if you haven't watched my other channels i have 
three different channels. One is about home cinema and tech. So the name is Home Cinema and Tech Review. I basically review computers, electronics, monitors, TVs, and mainly focused on home cinema projectors and projector screens like this setup. If you haven't watched my channel yet, you can go down at the links from the uh, comments and also the description of this video. You can check the home cinema and tech review. You will probably enjoy if you just love a little bit of electronic console gaming and also projection big screen too. So one other channel that I created for my one of my cars, which I love, Alfa Romeo GT uh, V6 Busso 3.2 liter engine, which is one of the best sounding car in the world according to the Jeremy Clarkson from Top Cheer. And if you know the guy, you know what I mean. He drove probably every car on earth and he says it was the best sounding car ever. So that's kind of like a bold statement, I know, but I have that car and I love to drive it. So I made a small channel. It's a hobby channel. It's nothing growing too fast, but if you love cars, you can also check that out. All of these channels and links will be in the description below. I just want to tell you that in this video. And sometimes people ask me that, why do I review cheap watches? I tend to review watches as an accessory. I don't think that uh, spending too much of a money instead of having a couple of variety of watches, it depends on your choice. You can go three to five watches of high-end collection or like me to have 10 and plus watches like this and have a different type of collection. For me, the probable uh, ratio range is $500, $250 to $500 up top, but mostly uh, $250 and below is my range because I can find interesting looking watches that probably last like 30 to 40 years if you don't hit them with a hammer. So I, if I believe a solid stainless steel case or titanium or whatever it is, and if I believe the mechanism inside is solid, then I go for it. So I look for the design. I try to enjoy as much as possible. If you're watching my reviews, I tend to, you know, make side by side. And I love the watches. Right now you're seeing Adidas Dive 36 millimeters. And I'm showing a couple of watches right beside it. And it's in my hand right now. And you're watching probably this video. This is the 38 millimeter uh, NH38 automatic one. And it's Tiffany Blue. And again, ideas dive. So I hope you enjoyed my videos until now. And don't forget to subscribe if, if this is the first time that you're watching the high res channel. As much as you subscribe, your support and your comments are important. Feel free to comment and also ask questions. I can create tutorials both for the channels like Home Cinema and Tech Review and also the Watch High Res. But Watch High Res is kind of like a more hobby side. Uh, the Home Cinema and Tech Review, like my regular job, IT and tech. So I most of the time review more detail for the home cinema and tech review. For the watch high res, I just want to show you 4K, 8K resolution high res watches that I enjoy. And if you want to even want to think of like purchasing them, you'll have a better idea, close up shots and everything. And I hope you enjoyed and you can continue watching the rest of the video and hope to see you in the next video of any of these channels. Bye. So we have matte finished on the uh, case and also the bracelet. By the way, bracelet is, as you can see, stainless steel. Around the size, we, uh, sides, we got good polish, both for the watch and the bracelet. We got a locking mechanism. Let's go to the bottom of it. And it's pressed. That's normal for the price. We're going budget. And we got two locking system. As you can see, it's difficult if you want to uh, swim with it. It's not going to be easy uh, to get it lost. But the one thing that I miss uh, for this watch is the Adidas Dive logo that I have with my 36 millimeters. And uh, I tend to love these clips more because it's like you see, this is used watch and it's not clean. Sorry about that. But uh, this this style. I love it, but I can live with also this quality. So no problem on that, but it could have been better. But at the back of the watch, like I always show you the details and you're seeing the automatic movement NH30. Uh, sorry, I said NH35, but it is NH38. And you'll seeing the specs around the page. 
So this is a kind of like a, a pretty diver style logo. As you can see, the diver glasses and also guns and arrows and stuff. So we have easy space to remove the uh, bracelet if we want to change it later on with the leather. I believe the overall build quality and the thickness also shows this is kind of like automatic. It's thicker than the regular watches. By the way, let's get close. We got, uh, let me just remove this. Probably we got protection layer. Let's, let's just, it's in front of the camera. It's, these things are becoming difficult, but yeah. I believe I got it out. Let's just get close. As you can see, still some protection layer might be on, but we got a good logo that shows the diver logo right in front of it. Let me just put my fingers the camera to focus easy. Yes, you see the logo now. It's the same diver logo around here. So that feels uh, the quality of the watch. By the way, this is uh, kind of like a pretty much good feeling. And I'm right now taking it out. It's screw down crown. So even though it's 100 meters, you feel the screw down style and it feels good. Let me just screw it in again. So 100 meter is more than probably uh, enough for everyone. Let's just uh, put, put and just take a look at the weight. This is a 296 grams of watch. Not too heavy, not too light. Since it's automatic, it's normal. But if you change the leather strap, it will be very lighter because this is a stainless steel. And it's not, uh, by the way, any means like a light or less quality model. Uh, but I have to adjust it to my wrist. In the end of the video, you'll see it with the leather strap. They give it to me, send it to me as a gift. Let me just show it to you, by the way. Let's just open this and find out the quality. Yes, let me unpack it. And it's looking way better, of course, uh, after I get it out. We got a texture and also we got ropes at the end of it that makes this thing and also brushed edge makes it feel like a qualified material and i believe i can use this with a combination of this but if i purchase myself i would probably go lighter color like a camel style of color and probably i will buy a couple of straps to uh, go along with this watch because i believe i will use this watch uh, longer than many of my watches and by the way if I show you something like this I need to you know take my other watch from my wrist and show you the other this is these two watches are Rolex basically Explorer style watches and what took my attention is this is 36 and this is 38 I believe 38 might be ideal for 80 percent or maybe 90 percent but 36 is kind of like a if you are okay with the use a small watch, but let me just show you another watch by going small. This is one of the Seiko 5s that I have, and it is about the same size with probably this. And also, I also made a review. So simplicity sometimes get you, gets your attention. And these two are much cheaper than the Se any Seiko probably you can find for the specs. Seiko NH38 movement, automatic, sapphire glass. These things are not easy. By the way, let me just show you one other thing. The glass is not perfectly flat. So this is a dome style glass. There is a certain amount of magnification uh, inside the glass. And that makes this watch looks even more expensive when you quite a bit of good look at it. Even from the distance, you feel the quality of this bump. Because otherwise, if it's a flat glass, let me just show you the Seiko. This is a flat glass. I know this watch is purpose different. You might be saying, hey, this is apple to oranges, but just take a look at it. Flat watch glass and the dome glass. It's, this feels a little, uh, little bit different. 
Some might say uh, the other one is sporty. I can agree and disagree or agree to disagree. Let's go to the details again. Uh, we made the measurement of the weight and under 300 grams, I think it's okay. Like I told you, this is 36. And right now, this is around 38. If you look at it from the corners like this, this is 38. But in the middle, this is about 36. So it changes around the edges when you go from this to this. But let's, you might be asking to lock to lock kind of spec. And lock to lock is about 48 ish. Sorry about my uh, measurement tool. My battery one and the better quality one is out. But this is plastic and not scratching the watches. That's why I love about them. These two watches are really good looking with any kind of bracelet or uh, strap style. If you ask me, you can convert one of them just like this one to a, a NATO one, NATO strap or leather strap. Uh, and this one to keep it as like a dress or all the time usage like this, stainless steel, leave it alone as it is. And uh, if you buy two of them, like this is a quartz one, this is automatic one. If you don't use the automatic one for a while, you can get away easily when you wake up with the quartz models. That's one of the advantages. So uh, what do I think about the thickness? By the way, let's just look at the thickness. It might be a question. This is 11 millimeters of thickness when we take a look at it generally. 11 millimeters is not extremely thick. I believe overall this watch deserves in every kind of attention for the price, for the uh, mechanism inside NH38 movement from Seiko, and, and the color of this Tiffany blue is quite popular, both with Casios as also the Rolex models and some of the Citizen models, and also the Tissot PRX, PRX models have some sort of Tiffany blue models. This thing is looking great, if you ask me, for the color and the looks of it. And it's looking quite expensive than it already is. Uh, on a budget way, this is also probably in the discount when I review this watch. I will adjust it, this watch and use it as a probably daily watch. And I believe it's looking great on the wrist. With the summer dresses like colorful oranges, blues and light colors, this will look, I believe, great. But even though if you dress darker colors, this will still be looking Tiffany blue greatness. I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and please ask questions as much as possible. I'll try to answer uh, as many as I can when I find the time. And you will see my different channels about home cinema, technology, and my hobbies, other hobbies like cars, at the description below and also at the end of the video. If you haven't watched my other review for this Edius dive, you can check that out. By the way, even though they made discount, these videos are not totally sponsored yet. And also I am paying the buying with my own hard earned cash. So I buy stuff that I use. That's why I recommend them. And if you're caring too much about like a couple of seconds, uh, you should choose the quartz models from Edis Dive or any brand, by the way. Otherwise, having the automatic will give you the feeling of, a, let's just say, driving a manual sports car in a B-road of any cool place. So that's the difference between driving an automatic and driving a manual car. This is the enthusiast's choice. And that's why I've added this watch to my collection. I hope you enjoyed. And hope to see you in the next video. Watch high res.